Now to Wall Street. So far today, the markets are rebounding after the Dow dropped nearly 1,000 points yesterday. ABC 36's Walker Simmons is joining us in studio. Walker, you've been monitoring the Dow all morning now. Hey, Jane. Yeah, well, this is it right now. It's a live look at the Dow Jones. It's showing significant rise. We saw it down 3% at the start of the market opening yesterday. Right now, we're seeing a rise 1.2, also sitting at 462 points. Now, we're going to continue to monitor this, but let's go back to Friday. We saw a consistent drop in the market, and it opened lower both of those days. Now, you mentioned that, Jane, and yesterday was one of the worst days in two years as the Dow Jones was down nearly 3%. But today, that's a different story as many stocks are rising. Sources did expect this rebound to happen after an overnight rise from international markets. But what led to this initial sell-off? Many experts pointing to Friday's nationwide July job report as a factor that may have made investors nervous. The report not only showing the U.S. added fewer jobs last month than expected, but it also reported a growing trend in the unemployment rate across the nation. The unemployment rate rose to 4.3 percent. Here are some numbers. And back here in Kentucky, that number is even higher as the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports a 4.6 percent unemployment rate for the state. And that's just for the month of June. Well, that ranks Kentucky in the top 10 states with the highest unemployment rate. Another important job report release date to keep in mind. It's going to be coming up next week. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says they plan on releasing individual state July job reports at the end of next week. Live in studio, Walker Simmons, ABC 36 News Now.